Okay, we're back with... I have not heard anything. I just see Selma out there. I haven't heard anything from Nina about that sister. It, that's the kind of dog that gives you nightmares, though. I'm going to be honest with you. That kind of dog, what was causing me major anxiety? Just thinking about trying to train this dog. You know, a year and a half old Great Dane, the size of Sonar, or bigger than Sonar, because Sonar was the small one of her litter. And with no training, that's basically been trained to attack a St. Bernard for a year and a half. Oh, but, can, but this trainer has said it can be the only dog. Do you honestly think I'm going to say, oh, some trainer said that? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's not how life works. Not in Kelly's world. Some so-called big trainer says something. I mean, the fact that there have not been hundreds, and I mean hundreds of trainers. Whoops, uh-oh. Whoops, uh -oh. Developing... Uh oh, that still works. Um, methods for off leash recall. If you said I'd go on YouTube right now, lady, I'm going to show you about nine. No, no, you're going to show me video after video. People standing there with a long rope, claiming that this is going to result in an off leash recall. If you said, is it? Not that I've ever seen. <laughs> It's, it's, it's not even in theory going to result in an off leash. Get a rope, put it on the dog, pull it, say come. Oh my God, that's not ever going to work. It's never going to work. If it, that was going to work, that's what I would do. When I sit there and somebody, I don't, you know, they go, oh, I've been watching your videos for so long. And da, 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 da. Oh, now I want to do it, which I'm happy to inspire people. But if you said, then what? Then they say things like, okay, so what do I just go get a long rope? That's what I said. Oh, you don't notice there was no long rope in there. Anyway, he seems like he's twice oh, kneeling on one little cuff. He isn't even at one little cuff. But you've got to keep things moving along. You don't want to get so, you know, if you said, what would be the example? Oh, you're just still teaching the kid at a third grade level. When the kid's like 15. <laughs> you got to progress things along, but... It is it's way harder than it looks. I could probably... Oh my God, hang on. I gotta go to let you uh, I could probably go get the very first videos when I was trying to do it. I was probably very old. Why, Jose? I mean, how cute is this dog? I, I, I'll be honest with you, like, I don't want to have to give him one. I told Kendall, I don't want to have to give Buttercrumb one. It was just too much of a surprise, because, you know, I, I work with them all day, every day. And then when they were just all suddenly gone, it was too shocking and surprising. opposite and Cammy did it yesterday I've seen people do it all the time they want to give the treat and then follow that with petting the face now they just I, don't, I wish they wanted it too I would love to do nothing but just hug shoe bottom all day long she's so cute but I'm making it a point to have my hands are gone they're not even there at all if you said your hands should linger and pet and if, if I was to keep dangling my hands down there, it would start biting at them. <laughs> if you said, well, if you wave your hands around a baby, baby starts grabbing at fingers and stuff. Oh, no problem. Uh, 
And you do, you've got to laugh. That guy, Alan, he knew about that. It, but you've got to do it deliberately. And if you, you said, well, I don't really love training dogs. You're not going to be able to do it then. <laughs> if you don't really love training dogs, you're not going to really be able to laugh and be happy when they do the little victories. If you said, what about kids? When kids do like something, do I just, you know, it's supposed to be funny or whatever. I can't even laugh. They're not going to be very too good around kids. <laughs> You know, you have, people want to think of themselves. I, I think, you know what, Sharon, if you're there, I think what we need to do is maybe do profiles of different types of par uh, pet parents. Because there's very specific types of parents that produce, that tend to produce a certain type of kid. You know, if they're too authoritarian or whatever. But that's what I see, the authoritarian Either that or the complete lex, the authoritarian. You will not eat. You will sit before you eat. You will sit. You will be a good dog. You will have manners. <laughs> Just the way they sit. But my hands are really out of the scenario. You little peanut. baked up chicken, but you know what you do? You've got to really be prepared. If you said, so we have to do the food and everything like with the kids too, we just threw, you know, we just fed our kids Coke and hot dogs. I swear to God, I knew someone that did that. You cannot go to this girl's house, this baby even was in a damn, you know, the high chair thing with Coke and hot dogs. So, see Mike every day. So where's this kid at now? Don't ask. I might be able to go on mugshots.com and find a picture of the kid for you to see. <laughs> it's possible, you know. But if you said, well, so what I have to do is augment my appeal to the dog with food. Yes, Elaine, if you're there, it's just like mom. Mom isn't sitting there saying, what's for dinner, mom? Goulash. Oh, goulash again, mom? These kids are going to be going to somebody else's mom's house to eat. Am I wrong? Oh, well, so-and-so's mom's having tacos. We're going over there. <laughs> So, you know, you've got to get, honestly, it's, it's, people want to buy the store-bought treats. You, you want to really think of the more homemade treats. Are you really going to just be better? You know, this whole giant tray of chicken at Walmart was $10. If you said, well, how much treats could you get for $10? Not much. Those stupid little bags like this big. I swear people, when I sit there, because when people bring dogs, I tell them, you know, you have to bring the food and treats and stuff. If you said, do they bring enough treats? No, they don't really bring enough, but at least they bring some. I didn't used to tell them to bring any, and then it's even more of a burden. But they'll, you know, say, oh, here's, here's the treats we use. It'll be like some, like, bag this big, but the bag's already open. They've already been working with this bag before. <laughs> so, uh, honestly, uh, you know, diced up hot dogs. Kids like this, too. I mean... If you said, what about hamburger? Hamburger really isn't as good. <laughs> but diced up chicken. Oh, he's, he's so good. And just, Elaine, he hasn't even made a peep that he, he doesn't notice that nobody else is here. And if you said, why? well, in one way, that Rottweiler is right there. They're like, my Rottweiler is, the cage is right there. So he kind of stays over there kind of by her. But get a little thing set up like this. And, you know, he already knows to go out. It's so weird, though, because I always do the pan banging. But now, because Misty doesn't stay out here with them, I always, before I let them out, say, Misty. Then I do the banging pan. Then I take Misty out, come around, open this door, let him out. Now, they're so tuned into it, it to the point I said, Misty which was the very original cue, they would jump up. He said, what did I say? I said, oh my God. He 
you know, they don't have anything else to do. They're not distracted by anything else. They're not going on Facebook. Oh, thinking about something they saw on Facebook. Oh, thinking about unfriending people on Facebook. They're living in the moment. But if you said, well, what do you mean? If they're always living in the moment, how is it doing this? If it, again, you're, you're making things. You know, I'm setting a scene here. If I just went out somewhere and just suddenly just do this watch down, I mean, you know, this, this, I'm, the fact that I'm seated, you know, the whole scene is very familiar. So if you said, I'll be able to set this up, and yeah, I'm sure you have like some kind of tray like this. Like, it doesn't have to be anything like this. I was doing it for that one of Carolina's, uh, with just dropping it in that little metal bowl. And if you said, should I use the metal bowl? I don't, I think you should safeguard that metal sound for getting them to come. So, all right, let me see if I can get them laying down. Oh my God, if you said, what's that? Oh, that's Lou pulling her sister apart. If you said, what are they? Oh, they like to pull their legs off and stuff. You know, nothing, nothing too serious. Y'all are getting way too crazy out there. You gotta go watch that. They're, they're beyond cute. I'm just thankful that I videotape everything. So I can look, they can look back on it. In my mind, they'll always be this age, but it's It's like the TV show, though. I guess they do have TV to watch. Because that window is like the TV. Because they can look out there and see the other dogs coming. They're not always out there, though. say this is you know if you said well I want to make it into like a little act that we can put on for the friends ah I dropped my watch oh, oh my gosh you know if you wanted to add if you were gonna do it that way I mean you would just add a verbal oh I dropped my watch if you said would the verbal have any meaning no it would become a form of a precursor to, oh I dropped my watch if you said what is it sound oh wah 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 Ooh, wah, 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 wah. Ooh, wah, 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 wah. Followed by. <laughs> that, that's, that's how. Ooh, wah, 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 wah. Can you see how that always happened in that order? Ooh, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> that's, what, that's what it sounds like to them. It does. It does. It does. As much as we want them. Oh my God, I'm going to go get Ryan. Just be, I don't know why they're beating up. So that's yes. Oh, hi, Mike. It is like uh, it is like kids, though, and it is I. I think in groups, and it's not you. You and I both. This, that, and the other, but certain individuals make themselves the individual that gets. I say that all the time. There's individuals of status and there's not. And so if, there, if these individuals are presenting themselves a certain way. Oh, hi, Lauren. Oh, I'm an awful person. Uh, this is what I want you to start. This is the kind of comment I want you to start putting in stuff, Lauren. Oh, get over yourself, lady. Oh, all dogs pick these. Lauren's like, I'm never going to do that. I'm awful. That. They should throw me off Facebook. And, and then you should say things like, oh, they don't even care enough to throw you off of there, lady. Get over yourself, lady. <laughs> It's like, oh my God, I'm not going to say those things. Look, he already got up there. I'm going to tell you, I don't know if you saw, Mike. Oh, you little peanuts. 
they already, oh my God, this dog is just the cutest dog ever. He said you'd say that if it was any of them. I would, but it's, you know, the, that dog yesterday was a really good example, Cam, if you, of frenetic behavior being elicited by the handler. And, you know, they're saying the kids get the dog riled up. This, that, you little sassin' frassin'. I mean, can you see where this doggy lay? I want you to platform. We need to get your son training the dog, you know, and that's how you have to think of it. If you said, well, he goes to hockey practice, they train, they have activities, it's very specific, it's successful, it's this and that. Yes, you've got, that's how you have to think of it for the dog too. You know, that in order to keep the dog out of trouble, you know, we've got the dog signed up for sports. If you said, sports, where's that? It's a sporting breed. Right, hang on, let me get Lou in here. I don't know, they just beat biscuits into the ground. She's the sweetest one, too. You little peanut. I'm just looking in there. All right, hang on. Well. Oh no, did I drop something? Oh my god, he's got the key. You little peanut. Let me see if I can get him to give it to me. You little peanut. He said he's eating it. It might be a little, it is a little inconvenient for me to constantly have to pay shoe bottom for my shoes. But if I didn't do that, she'd just run away. She'd just run away with them. That's what she does anyway. She runs away with them, but at least I'm getting her ran back. You know, this is a systemic process. You know, the opposite would be her just running off with them. You're adding just adding to whatever's already there. It already picks things up. You're just adding the fact that it's picking it up and putting it in your hand. I just like the way you can already get up here. Let's see if he gets up there on his own. You little peanut. <laughs> and they were already doing the footstool. They definitely need like a climb. Oh. You little peanut. Oh. You little peanut. But I mean, I think you, if you said to yourself, oh, it makes sense that, you know, in this little area, it's going to sort of buy for, you know, a higher vantage point just because that's their nature. Oh, hi, Elle. I hope you guys got some sleep last night. I told Christine, just put that little X pen, unhook it from the crate and make it a small little X pen and then just put it right next to the bed and just put your arm in there. <laughs> if you said that sounds inconvenient, you know, I need to, people need to understand there's going to be inconvenient, and then there's going to be less inconvenient. So it would be less inconvenient to do that than it would be to listen to him cry. I mean, I don't want him crying at all. If you said, why? You're, you're, you're putting him in a state of distress. So if you said, we shouldn't just let it cry and cry, you've got to think of a way to change something so it doesn't cry. Because if you said, well, I've heard him in here, they just cry and cry and cry and cry. They never cried, so if they're crying, you've got to change something. It's me. 
I've been there though. I still remember that one white boxer that I trained. Oh my God. The whole night. I don't even know how I slept. The whole night. I was slept for like three days. I mean, it turned out, but man, what a terrible dog. The guy never pre trained it. So what did he do? He kept it in his shower in his master bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. That's where the dog stayed. Instead of a crate, it lived in this guy's master shower. If you said, well, why didn't he just bring his shower over here? Exactly. <laughs> that was the problem. You know, I'm not going to sit there and put this thing in my shower. <laughs> anyway, it did end up turning out, but God, what a nightmare. Oh, night. And what, what it was, was the dog wasn't neutered. So I said, it has to be, I can't take it here for training because it's not neutered. So I got an appointment at Dr. Cox, and the guy dropped it off at Dr. Cox, and I went and picked it up from Dr. Cox and brought it here to start its training after it got neutered. So it had been, like, knocked out the whole day and everything. It should have been just, like, all doped up. Not this dog. <laughs> Not this dog. You little peanut. Your little belly's so chunky. So anyway, I'll get your platform going. That's going to be the next step. If you said, well, give me, give me an example. Once, like people, when they have a kid, first, the kid isn't walking around at all. Next thing, this kid's mobile. Katie, bar the door. Oh, you. <laughs> so that would be the footstool. But so if you said, once it gets mobile, we better start controlling the direction it's going. Yes. If you said, well, how is this going to help? We can drive all that motion towards the platform. If you said, how is that gonna help us? I mean, we can just drive it around now. It's really gonna be hard to give him away, Elaine. But if you said what? Oh, now Yoshi came back there. If you said, oh, Yoshi's like King Kong. If I let him in here, there's no way. There's no way. He's like King Kong Crusher. His paws are like this big. Puts it right in my hand. Anyway, I'm going to do some good videos and stuff. But I think it's very important that you do. You're saying at this juncture, this is the opposite of you're putting everything in movement and everything else. I'm completely, you know, you've got to keep your lower body still. And that girl yesterday was moving her toes around and doing all these things. If you said, should you do that? No. Any movement is going to be an involuntary attractant. And if you said, what do you mean? Even if a bug flies by? You've seen it. How many times have been out there and then a bug flew by? And they start chasing after a bug. So it's, it, movement is going to cause an involuntary If you can do it like that, and you need to start doing that, is giving them the treat, you know. This is how I want you to think of it all. Christine says, I need some money. I need some money, I'm going to the store. It's, it's not a big fanfare, it's basically just here. It's just utilitarian. You're giving them the treat, isn't is it? beyond cute. I just can't even get over it. No. After they're gone, I'll come sit out here. Oh, I can come sit out here. I can put Oliver in a puppy costume and make him do it. All right, so he's jumping up. There's just no reaction. <laughs> he was getting ready to go to bed. Anyway, so that's what I did, though. And if you said, you're just making yourself more appealing. Yeah, I'm making more, myself more appealing. Look at me. I'm not going to be that appealing. Just... Coming in here and saying, God, I want to love you. You know, if anything, I'm, yeah, and that's why I do like, the, oh, you know, that's what they need, Mike. Like a platform <laughs> that you can spin around. They used to have this toy for kids. You probably remember it, Al. I don't even know why you're up. Christine said you were sick. You were supposed to be at home resting. But it, that sit and spin thing, remember? Did you ever have one of those? You, I don't know if they had those in the UK, Mike, but if you said, what was it? I don't remember exactly, but it was called a sit and spin. 
If you said, did you have, I don't think I had one. I think I always wanted one. <laughs> oh, you little peanut. That's his brother now, though. That's what he plays with now. Because he doesn't have any, he doesn't have anybody to chew on, so he just chews on the brother. All right, listen, you guys, I'm going to go do some stuff, but I'm going to be back with him later. Just, he hasn't been coughing at all, Elaine, but I still don't want you to come until this weekend. And if you said you're just saying that so you can keep working with him. I'm not just saying that. In a way, I, I, I am. I mean, I am going to keep working with him, but I just would feel better with him. If you said, well, he looks lethargic, lethargic. But don't you see how that, that toy is the same exact size as another puppy? So if you said it's playing the role, yes, it's playing the role of another puppy. So the behavior at least is having an outlet. If, if you said, what if it didn't have the outlet on that stuffed toy or on another puppy, and I started acting like another puppy, yes, then you would be the recipient of that behavior. If the behavior is going to occur in the dog. You know, if you said it's play drive, I got to ask God for more about that. Because I know he always said there was like a play drive, but, and, and I would suppose that's what that was. It's, it's going to come out. You're just not going to sit there and say, don't play. You know, they used to do that. Like, okay, now he's going to go to bed. So he kind of lays by the wild water. Like, you just, you're just an angel face. But, you know, if you said... You know, if you said play, it's just a normal function. Oh, he's going to try to lay up there. He's honestly, <laughs> it's um, you, precious little peanut man. I think putting that carpet in there helped. I mean, they, no, I guess, you know what? I guess the other ones did get up there too. It's, it's, it's. So the handler re-enters, he's jumping up or whatever, but I just don't reward or react to that. It's very important not to react to it. Because if you say, I say, no, 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 no. You're, any, any movement that you're adding is going to be an attractant. So to try to correct them by moving and waving your arms around, it's not going to work. We heard the noise, but it was sort of, it was contaminated. <laughs> oh, he's going to bed with it. So, yeah, he's beyond cute. Just the little builds, their coats and everything are so perfect. Oh, their little coats are so perfect. Uh oh, shrugalicious. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. So what don't I want to get into at this point? Right, hang on, let me turn this light off. My poorly placed light that fell right into the water bowl. <laughs> that was Cato's work. Cato sort of changed the light. If you said that you set the top, yeah, you set the top on it. Oh, oh, you little God. peanut. Oh, no, the chicken spilled. You little peanut. Okay, all, comes. all right, you guys, I'll be back later. I'm going to just... I don't think I have any appointments today. I'm just going to run through the training dogs. 
And I was just super thrilled with the way Harley did yesterday, especially when they tell me how she was. I understand the dog a lot more now. If anybody is coming into the dog's orbit and doing this, riling up, it explains why such a sweet little dog like that has such an aggressive side. That's what was surprising to me. It looks sweet enough, but oh, one of the watches in there. You little peanut! Oh my God. You tiny peanut! You stay there playing with your brother. That's what it is, though. That that stuffed toy, which I gave them after the other ones left. Oh, well, that's what it is. You see, the other ones left, and then I put that stuffed toy in there. And now it's representing the brother. Or whatever. I'll get in bed and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I gotta go. <laughs>